going on guys? So much has happened since the last video. I have some good news. I finally got my player license here in Spain, which means I can now officially play in league games. I went to that knee appointment, which I was able to get luckily and it worked out. I got a knee and number, which was the final missing piece for me to be able to get my player license. So the clips you just saw were from my first appearance with the club. I came on for the last 15 minutes. It was an intense game against Colado Villalba, who got relegated from the Tercera division last season. I almost got a goal. It wasn't meant to be this time around and the final score was 0-0. I'm happy to get my first minutes in for a league game and now it's about adapting as quickly as possible after missing out on the first few weeks of the season, which put me at a disadvantage but it's all good. I'm here for the challenge and I'm gonna work even harder. Something that's really been on my mind is my potential as a player. There's moments where my confidence in being able to make it to the pro level is really high. And then there's moments where I doubt if I have what it takes, if I start too late, if I miss too much youth development, and all these thoughts that crowd my mind, I'm sure you can probably relate and there's certain negative thoughts that you have as well. But it's important to know that it's okay to have those thoughts. Everybody has those thoughts and those thoughts are actually part of the process. You're supposed to overcome them. They've been placed along your journey for you to overcome. And all we can really do is practice positive thoughts as much as possible, train hard every single day, improve as much as we can and as we go through this crazy difficult journey there's going to be the failures the challenges the doubt and the uncertainty but if we stay persistent with keeping the mind as positive as possible we'll win the battle up here and we'll get to that amazing place that we're supposed to get to so my thoughts with football have been all over the place and that's okay i've been reflecting on them and one conclusion i came up with is that to be honest with myself Right now, I'm probably around 40% of the player I can be. And that's because I haven't played since COVID. I've been out for a full year with a chronic groin injury, so I couldn't train properly. And right after that, I got into a knee-on-knee -knee collision, which caused my patellar tendonitis. It's just the reality, and it's frustrating being at this 40% level personally, but there's also a special level of excitement in knowing there's still so much more room to grow. That's exciting because if I tap into that, which I'm now in the process of doing, what level can I reach? Where can I get to? What league can I play in? All that unknown is exciting to me. As a foreigner, playing lower league football in Spain without knowing the language and being new to the culture is really challenging. Imagine being alone and not understanding 90% of what the coach is saying or not understanding any of the conversations that your teammates are having. You can't integrate yourself, you feel alone. As a foreigner, as a foreigner playing lower league football in Spain without knowing the language and being new to the culture is really challenging. Imagine being alone and you can't understand 90% of what the coach is saying or you can't understand any of the conversations that your teammates are having. You feel left out, you can't integrate yourself, it's really challenging, but in every challenge, there's a reward. And in these last weeks, the reward has been that my perspective has grown so much. And what I love about it is that the more discomfort I put myself into, the more my comfort zone expands. There's situations that phased me months ago that don't phase me anymore because I have more tools, more experience, and that's the reward of putting yourself into new territory. There's new lessons and there's a new opportunity for growth. 